Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video and welcome back to the channel. Back in Battlefield 2042, if you haven't checked out my previous video, I've linked it down below, things that I liked about the game. But today we are talking about things that I dislike about this game, which is quite topical considering this game, out of 65,000 reviews, has a mostly negative review on Steam, which is crazy because only 34 percent of the 65,000 reviews are positive the rest of the 60 to 70 percent of reviews is negative that's insane and honestly i'm not surprised even though yes i had a few things that i liked about this game as i mentioned in my previous video for the most part there's a lot about this game that leaves much to be desired and that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today uh, real quick, if you haven't already, smash the like button and subscribe and go check out my channel. Go check out my other content. I would really appreciate it. So, Battlefield 2042, things that I do not like. Let's get into it. Number one, minimap sizing. Now, this, for some reason, I have no idea why this option isn't in the game from release. From previous games, so Battlefield 4 for example, you can actually go into the settings if you're playing on PC, I'm not sure about console, but on PC you can go into the settings and you can actually change the physical size of the minimap. But for some reason this option is missing in Battlefield 2042 and there's no way to increase the size of the minimap and you're just stuck with this really tiny map in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and sometimes you probably have to squint and because of its size just there in the bottom left hand corner you sort of tend to miss it and you don't check it as often as you should and you tend to miss enemy markers and this really affects gameplay as a player. I can only imagine uh, people who are playing with large screens how they're able to play with such a small minimap. And on top of that, there's no way to actually tell where an enemy is um, on the map if they're within close vicinity. That is to say, you can't tell if they're above you or below you. Uh, previous games, I believe, like Battlefield 4, they had a way of um, distinguishing where enemy players were relative to you. So that is to say, on the minimap, if they were below you, they would show as a smaller icon and, and the color would be faded. And if they were above you, they would show as the same size of your own player icon. So you could tell if an enemy player was above you or below you. So yeah, this is something I don't understand why from the get-go, DICE hasn't incorporated this into the game and it's quite disappointing. Number two, hit markers. Now in particular, hit markers when you hit vehicles. Um, hit markers when you hit enemy players, it's pretty much the same as or any other game. Uh, but when you hit an enemy vehicle, when I first started playing this game, I couldn't tell if I landed a shot with the RPG or not. The hit markers that pop up are not like your hit markers that you get when you shoot at an enemy player. I would prefer the hit markers you get when you shoot an enemy player to be used when you shoot at enemy armor because for some reason you get these two little brackets of sorts as the hip markers which i don't understand it doesn't give me a lot of confidence you know and doesn't really stand out to me and lets me know that i actually landed a shot especially if you don't disable a part on the enemy vehicle i've checked in the settings there's nothing that i can see where i can alter the shape or alter the hip markers in any way besides you know changing the color of your crosshairs moving on to the next one we got the loadout so what i don't understand is the entire loadout system itself they have the four different classes so assault medic sniper engineer but you can actually equip anything on either of the four classes so a medic can equip a rocket launcher or armor plate and yeah, so if they're going to have distinguished class names, I feel like they should lock each class into specific tools and items that each class can use. So for example, for the medic, only the medic can have access to the health crate. The engineer can have access to the RPG and the repair tool and so on and so forth, which is pretty much what previous games like Battlefield 4 has done. But for some reason in Battlefield 2042, I don't know what DICE has done here. They have just made it open 
this season where they have four distinguished classes but you can run anything on either of the class you can set up a medic loadout of the class that's titled as the engineer class so it's quite confusing and yeah it's something that i just i don't understand and i hope they will remedy this just to make the game a bit more easy to sort of follow but yeah moving on to the next thing that i don't like about battlefield 2042 and it's the fact that dice has just gone ahead and decided to reinvent the wheel with the chat system i don't get it where is the all chat function dice so if you haven't played this game the chat function in the game gives you access to only a team chat a squad chat and a party chat but no all chat which i don't understand like for me personally coming from battlefield 4 which was the previous battlefield game i played prior to battlefield 2042 i enjoyed the aspect of communicating with players on the opposing team and to the extent having that all chat creates that sense of community and you're able to communicate with the opposing players not necessarily in a toxic manner but you have that banter as well but as well as you are able to you know have a bit of a cheeky laugh if you get into a firefight with someone and you get killed or you kill the other player you can type a quick cheeky message in the chat just to acknowledge hey good fight but you know i won or you won uh, so yeah i don't know i feel like dice has taken the community aspect of this game and just pile drived it into the ground i just don't understand why they felt the need to remove all chat from the game if it ain't broke don't fix it dice it doesn't make sense why you got rid of all chat bring it back anyways let's move on to the next one spot in what the heck is this ping crap if you go back to previous games such as battlefield 4 again i'm relating all of this back to battlefield 4 and the spotting system is that well pretty much you spam q if you're on pc and yeah it'll mark any enemies in your cone of vision basically but in battlefield 2042 they will replace that with the new spotting system which basically pings a location that you're directly looking at to let people know that there's enemies there which is actually quite annoying the way the system works because sometimes you can press q while, while looking at an enemy and instead of marking it as an enemy marker it puts it down as a location marker so a green marker rather than the red enemy marker so it's quite confusing dice please fix it again the old spawning system was just fine you didn't need to reinvent it bring it back speaking of things that didn't need to be reinvented let's go on to the next item the scoreboard i don't understand again why they have gotten rid of the traditional scoreboard so pretty much any competitive fps game has a way for you to while in game to press a uh, button and bring up a scoreboard where you can see your kd and not just you but pretty much all the players in the game both in your team and in the other team as well but for some reason dice has gotten rid of this and again has reinvented the wheel where they have got rid of this scoreboard you can't see how necessarily immediately see how many kills or how many assists you've got the way they've done it is now they have this squad ranking system so when you press tab if you're on pc it brings up a scoreboard of sorts but it shows it in a ranking in terms of the squads and how many kills each squad has got but also it does have to the top right corner your own kills and your own deaths so but no way to compare to other players so i don't understand again why the scoreboard system is what well, was pretty much fine just the way it is you know every single game has the scoreboard system in a similar fashion as previous battlefield games like battlefield 4 and there was no need for dice to change this so dice if for any reason somehow you've gone down the youtube rabbit hole and you ended up in my video please change this back we do not want this we do not want what you've come out with we need what we had earlier and speaking of which let's jump in the next one and that is 
change in the fire mode or rather a fire mode indicator now in previous battlefield games you always had an indicator of sorts that tells you what fire mode you're in whether it's fully auto single shot or burst fire but for some reason in battlefield 2042 when i first installed the game and first started playing i noticed that there was no way to tell what fire mode i was in and there were times where i'd accidentally pressed the fire mode button and i get into a firefight with the enemy and i click my mouse hoping to you know shoot multiple rounds and instead get one shot i'm like wait what i didn't realize i was in single fire mode there was no indicator now full disclaimer i am recording this on the 4th of december and around about this time dice has rolled out a couple of updates and i've played the game with these updates installed uh, as of recording this and they have fixed this issue however they fixed it by adding the option into the game to either have the fire mode indicator always visible or when available or not at all. Now, I'm glad that they added the option, but I don't understand why it should be an option in the first place. Literally, when you set this option to always visible, you can see that clearly there is enough space to display the fire mode indicator without compromising the HUD. So I don't understand why this was even an option in the first place. It should have been baked into the game from day one. So yeah, it's pretty much these little, little things that have really made the Battlefield community and myself personally that just sort of have a love-hate relationship with this game. I mean, when I played this game with the latest update, as soon as I booted it up, I didn't have any horizontal mouse movement. I could move my mouse up and down and have my character look up and down, but not left to right. And I couldn't find a fix for it. And then I had to go online and Google and I finally found a fix, which by the way, if you're having this issue, you have to delete your Battlefield 2042 folder in your documents folder delete it it doesn't do anything to the game it doesn't break the game all it does is it resets your settings so once you boot up the game your mouse glitch will be fixed but you will have to uh, go through and set up all your settings all over again whether it's key bindings or graphics whatever it is you'll have to just set it all up all over again so yeah again dice please please fix all these things because it feels like it's the old adage if it ain't broken don't fix it and you've gone and fixed things that us as the battlefield community didn't want you to fix like the scoreboard and even little things like fire mode indicator and even minimap sizing why isn't that baked into the game from launch so yeah i hope all of these things get fixed over time if not soon if you stuck around to this point of the video really appreciate it let me know what you think down below is there anything that you don't like about this game do you agree with me or do you disagree with me did i miss out on anything let me know down in the comments down below and again smash the like button and subscribe if if you haven't check out all my other content and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video